මංගිතනා දැන් වෙනකොට මිනිස්සු පාරට බහින්න ඕනේ කියලා ගොඩක් අය දැන් කිය කිය ඉන්නවා ගෙවල් වලට වෙලා ඒ වුණාට මෙහෙම ටිකට් ටික එකතු වුණාම තමයි මං හිතන්නේ අපිට ලොකු සද්දයක් මෙසේජ් එකක් දෙන්න පුළුවන් we have been going through this uh, this uh, trauma for a long time and being very unfair i know certain areas where they get power during uh, i mean the, i mean mount lavinia and i get a power cut of 7 hours and uh, there are children who are studying there are uh, people who need to do their businesses which cannot be done and enough is enough we need to change the system today is the 13th day this silent uh, protest and vigil started on the 1st of march Uh, this is not an anti government protest only this is also um, us showing our displeasure of the lack of viable opposition we feel that the reason we have sunk so low is because there's there's no viable opposition also every day in the morning it's a new issue is there is there gas if you have gas is there petrol is there is there diesel how long can we go on like this what's the us dollar rate how long can this be sustained it is clear that this government is incapable of ruling they do not have solutions the finance minister comes and says they will be discussing with the imf The central bank chief says no, no discussion with the IMF. Who are you fooling? Is this to cause confusion among us? Another example: the newly appointed director of the zoo says that there's a, there's, a, there's corruption in the zoo. The minister supposed to organise protests against her to get her removed. Who is who is at fault here? Who appoints them? Not us. The government appoints them, and these parties are finding fault with each other. Let's take the gas issue. The C- CEO of Litro comes and says that there's a fraud in in the gas in the ordering of gas. and the composition of the gas he lies a blame in the two ministers bandula and lasanta who appoints the ministers who appoints the litro gas chairman is this our problem you all create the problem you all create the confusion and we pay for it sort them out or resign please and opposition please do your job be a viable opposition now we hear that you all have finally organized finally organized a protest on the 15th good now we also hear that the government is delaying the supply of fuel diesel especially in order to uh, destabilize this opposition's protest what are you all going to do about it like the last time i all going to al- allow your buses and all to be stopped in this in areas or, or or will there be no buses coming to colombo so the protest is going to be a damn squib is it just as how you all are united what we see we the public sees you all are very united when it comes to uh, getting your uh, your retirement benefits huh your every 5 years getting your new vehicle permits all your benefits but when it comes to the public you all don't give a damn it's just a case of one party being in power and the and the opposition finding their fault and then the then the, then it turns and then the then the other party finds the fault with this and it goes from side to side this has happened for 73 years www.headlinenews.lk palamil idrian